All right, welcome back to the final section of landing page series. I'm so excited because this is going to be the final one. Um, in the initially we initial section of this um, section five, we talked about how to get this um, background picture, and we we have gone as far as typing this section five. Please don't forget. Oh my God, I said don't subscribe to our YouTube channel. No, I'm going to change this. I mean, please subscribe don't forget to subscribe to our user this must be a mistake so but in this section we are coming to talk about how to add a field i mean a form field uh, and it's going to come all about um, the email address of the user and them posting their email address so i think we don't need to talk plenty let's just start doing something good this is where we left our page last time we just typed this we haven't added anything so first thing first we are going to create a table and to create a table just come here I mean here manage database table then you add a table you name this table look at where I'm naming it table name you name it something I want to name it subscriptions and inside this subscription I want it to to have a field called email for the sake of academics I will add another field called date it's very important remind you that PHP Rad have created an ID field for us in Tija with maximum size of four eleven 11 figures that is an auto increment key and is primary I will always advise please don't alter this table if you can but if you do there's likely there's high chances of you running into problems so we have created two fields email and date we can just go ahead and save this thing we have this field here email and date we preview it Can you see it over here subscriptions is currently empty uh, we want to do one more thing we want to at this page uh, we want to remove the header of this or this place just we want to remove it we don't need it is it's cool to have them but we don't need it okay and I think the rest of the thing you should be seeing it for yourself so that you know what we are actually removing we want to handle or kind of take this page and put it to this um, home page we want to put it here remember that is there is nothing here so we want to put it here okay to do that we want to create a new column <coughs> and in that column I want it to be uh, when when the screen is medium size I want it to have the value of 6 called 6 MD and I want to justify it remember that we didn't add this oh, let me say let me delete this so that you see how I did it you can come here and say justify content center you can use either this or this but I'm going to use justify content around I just like around I prefer it to center and we can go and still add our class which is py5 therefore you can add multiple classes okay you can also resize this thing in case you think that you need more space here but i i usually don't use most of this company i just go straight and type what i want to do in my custom view <sighs> all right we move ahead and um we come down to our pages just make sure you scroll down is the final um, uh, component here sub pages then on the sub pages we choose this um, this page which actually represent a table subscription we kind of open it then under the subscription we are going to choose um, add page don't mind my PHP rad the look I'm using um, a modified version of PHP rad but that's not what we are coming to talk about so you go to subscription slash add 
and you just drag and drop it here that's it scroll down again and you will see it is just simple okay it's just simple remember I showed you initially we we came here and deleted something here I mean something here don't forget but in case you don't want to delete anything from your PHP or I just want to have it the way it is you can just simply come here and toggle it off show header and say no you don't want to show the header okay instead of deleting it we can actually just render it false not to show the header it's, it's an array okay to just pass an array to say false header we preview it and wow this is what we got it's not bad is we're actually expecting something like this it's not actually bad we're expecting it so let's go ahead and customize it change one or two things so that it will look nicer to us number one thing we are going to change is this background we don't need it okay we have a background here giving it another bg as in background light is not nice we are going to remove it that's number one thing then the second thing we are coming to do is the labeling is labeled horizontally you know they and they put the field here label it here put the field there it's cool i'm not saying it's, it's nice but in order to suit with what we are doing we are going to remove the label entirely because i don't see the function of this guy since we have this guy okay we said section five we can simply type please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel okay when we have this thing uh, what is the essence of this guy and also over here you see something saying enter email i think we don't need this so then the number three things we are coming to this we are going to remove this date field but it's not going to be empty we are going to pass a default value which is actually the current date so that the users don't need to be typing dates just because they want to subscribe to your email address they just put their email address and submit then the number four thing being the final thing we are going to do is we want to link this when we submit it you know by default it should redirect you to the list page so by default we want to maintain this home page all right so let's start doing something starting with number one removing the bg the background so we come to our subscriptions page add page come here and under this guy make sure you click this guy we want to remove all this wrapper class take it off and preview there we go it's no more there the background i told you is no more so we're moving to number two which is the labeling um not in page design but in pages form layout type we don't want horizontal we want vertical but we don't want the vertical to have a label so we move to vertical no label and we preview it good so the labeling is off now let's move to number three which is enter date enter date we select and we say none and we give it a default value of date and time preview oh my god we are almost there we are almost there enter email address good we want to say enter email address not just email address 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 good enter email address preview it isn't it nice so let's move to number four thing we say we'll do let's give an example of what i'm talking about i will say i'm um, learning learning at frontend.com that's the email address and i subscribe it takes me to the subscription list page which is what i don't want people to be seeing how does it how will it be that you subscribe and they just show a list of all the people who have subscribed to your page is all oh, it's bad it's bad so um we want to change this what you can do is come to this ad page then move down to let me show you something you can close this design page and you get general page close it and get record events on the record event look at redirect to after add so we don't want it to redirect to subscriptions 
we want it to redirect to the current page current current page I know you haven't seen something like this is actually super awesome for me but it may not be super awesome for you but I like it I like it so preview so this time we will say test testing or we can say try try at frontend frontend.com and we said submit what do you see we are still in our current page so and it actually posted it try at frontend.com good so um i also want to add some few things to spice the things up here we want to change page uh, on under page design we want to change the submit button we just want to say um, we just want to say just subscribe subscribe it's just something like this okay we we'll preview it. so we have it subscribe okay um, you may also like to add something like an icon here Input icon just type envelope 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 and reveal so we have some kind of icon here and remember we are not coming to style a uh, form and field and just be designing them we just want to make our section 5 and at this point don't worry don't worry hold on at this point i know you will say is he done is not actually the way it looked in the initial one yes it's not actually the way but if i'm to explain how i did this it's going to take a whole lot of time okay uh i've done something like that i'll add a link in the description below it's one of the videos i've done earlier on before this landing page series so you can just go through it and check how to style form and stuff okay Thank you so much uh we have to save this work thank you so much uh, in our next class not actually in our next class in the next series coming we'll be looking at blog making php rat blog it's going to be a blog but you can actually use it as a news let me show you it's going to be something like this good so what do you think making something that looks like this do you think is nice should we do it if you think it's nice of course the video will be coming off we have already done it but um the video tutorial isn't yet ready we are coming to do something like that something exactly like this i'm sure my guys will have will like it um let's type something like fit That is it. So thank you guys. Um, I wish you all cool. I wish you safe. Stay safe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video so that we get more subscribers. One big family. Peace.